the railroad, quintessentially American. But the railroad is not uniquely American. It isn't baseball. For whatever reason, American railroading surrounds itself in myth, unlike the utilitarian rail culture of Europe. Maybe it's because much of American history is the history of a moving people, and nothing symbolizes movement as romantically as an engine. Maybe it's because the railroad is born of American manufacture and spread west in a gilded age of American industry. The railroad is timber, steel, iron, and sweat. This is a rail spike. What can it teach us about the railroad and the men who built it? It's made of iron and is hammered two to a rail tie. The Transcontinental Railroad alone measured 1,776 miles. The Railway Tie Association estimates that every mile of track contains 3,249 ties, each one anchoring rail with two iron rail spikes. That's a lot of iron. A rail spike can teach us the importance of iron to American industry and westward expansion. It's also heavy and blunt, requiring force to drive it into a hardwood tie. This is where the famous nine-pound hammer comes in. It can teach us the back-breaking work required to build a railroad and help explain why it attracted new immigrants, freed slaves, and poor whites. People that could get away from the work did leaving the toil for those without the same advantages. This is a rail spike, and it tells an American story.